Okay, hello everyone. This is Melissa Arnold reviewing the PayPal. PayPal, 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 PayPal. Let's go over it. So Gyra did an excellent, excellent job in the room this morning. Um, called PayPal short, got the drop. He had to stop at the right place. He got out and so did a ton of people in the room. But I, I was back before the open and then obviously had time to get it. And this looked good. This looked good. This looked good. And I, and I never got out of this with profit. And looking back, it was just, I, I just didn't react quick enough. I ended up getting stopped. Glad that I did not jump right back into it. So this did warrant what is called a retake today. But I really, really didn't think it was ready until later timed with the market. I'm just going to go over here to the market. Once the market started to drift off, which it absolutely did. So let's just see exactly the time it was. Oh, there you have it. <clears throat> so market really set the high of the day by 11 o'clock. 11 a.m. So PayPal had a beautiful, sharp drop and a big move this morning. But one of the things with day trading, one of the things I love is the fast exits, but you have to be on your game. And um, I think it was just too many things going on with me this morning. And my anticipation was as well, 175 was the first target, but once it broke that, I felt like it could continue even further. And it very well might, but it just didn't today. It just did not today. Uh, but this was a really nice move in here. Honest to goodness, you could have gotten almost $3 out of it. And some people did get out of it, like I said, in the room, but I thought it had more leg in it today. Once it flipped though, it just then started to get away from itself with the market. Um, and this this was by no means a revenge trade. This wasn't a revenge trade here. Um, this was a, a real sell-off and a real set-off that set up that I saw happening. But I'm really glad that I ended up retaking this and doing this again because quite frankly, um, it more than made up for the stop this morning. And I really think if um, I hadn't been, you know, voting this morning and then running back to get here before the open, I would have actually ended up getting out of that if I had been more focused. So you've got to be focused in the morning, number one with what you're doing, and number two, your entries and exits. So I, I like this last night. I saw this last night. And it'll be interesting to see if this is going to have some follow through. Remember, today's only Tuesday. With the election and everything going on, I think people forget what day of the week it is, but it's only Tuesday. So this has Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, three more days left to go. And then remember last week, the option I called in this went the very last day last week, the very, very, very last day. So I can't wait to see what this does. I'm also watching the market too. Again, it's election night. In fact, let's just look here quickly at the market because we were selling off a little bit into the, after the four o'clock. Broke 3.35. Then we are now, well, this is pretty much just neutral. No, we're just neutral here. Anyways, nice move here in the PayPal. PayPal was a short. You could have done in the morning, aggressively got out, um, and then you could have actually retaken it if you stopped in the morning or if you wanted to retake it and still got out in the morning, you could have retaken it. So I think a lot of people did get out in the morning and uh, it just goes to show you again, the focus has to be there. But I knew it was a good gap. I'm glad though that I didn't jump back into it. And looking at the chart, it really didn't set up until later. And again, it was timed very well with the market. This was an earnings a gap, uh, just so you know. It's still earnings season this entire rest of the month and into the beginning of December. So nice movement here in PayPal. Um, big move, move in the afternoon. Had to catch it up the right time, which we did. And we'll see what happens to this going into the rest of the week. Good luck, everyone. The Golden Gap course for November is this weekend, November 7th and 8th. If you're interested, email me at melissathestockswoosh.com to sign up. Stay safe, everyone.